in addition to trying to create a exploded axonometric uh, with a 3D cutaway, not in section, but a plan, uh, in order to create these segmented plans, uh, this is another part of the process that I need to explain, is we can cut from above. So we looked at how to do that, where we're creating a cutting plane and dragging that down to a point that we want. I'm just supposed to escape to get out of that. But we can also drag up. So if we click on the bottom of the screen, I don't want to do sides in this case, I just want to do up and down. So if we click on the bottom of the screen, we can also drag up. Now again, this isn't going to make a whole lot of sense at the moment, but what I'm just trying to do is reduce the amount of information that's being shown in the view. So I don't want to see all of these this floor information. So I'm going to cut so it's just underneath the floor level. And so press finalize. So I'm basically creating slithers. And by creating these slithers, it's allowing us to just see the floors. So then when we later uh, pile these on together, we can start to see floor, gap, floor, gap, floor, uh, which is the intention of the exploded axonometric. So that's it. It's another small part of um, the series I'm trying to create at the moment on cutaways, 3D cutaways uh, for creating presentation drawings. So stay tuned for more videos explaining the next process.